Peace be with you, dear friends of St. Barnabas. This is Father Hansu. Today we're going to speak on hope. Hope. Yes, it is a season of hope, Advent, because we are waiting for our Lord Jesus, our Messiah, our Savior, who was born in Bethlehem and He's coming to us every day through His grace, His presence, through the sacraments. And also, we are waiting for the day that we will see Him face to face. Friends, I think there is importance for us to understand uh, during this season of Advent how we see hope. I'd like to uh, just read you a, a small amount of um, a catechism here. And uh, catechism defines hope as a virtue, a theological virtue, by which we desire the kingdom of heaven and eternal life as our happiness. See, that desire for, for eternal happiness has to come because we lack that happiness here on earth. Even if we have all the things that we wanted to have, we, we always have this an emptiness inside where where we just know that nothing could fill that gap. See, Advent season is traditionally known as a time of darkness. Not that we're embracing the darkness, but to acknowledge that darkness. The darkness of our life, our sins and our dysfunctions in our life in our relationships, in our families, in our society, as a country, as a world, that darkness, not having control of making ourselves happy, has to be acknowledged. See, without that acknowledgement, we're not able to really enjoy the reality of Christmas, our Lord's coming. If I don't acknowledge what is happening around me, in me, within me, right, around the world, that thick darkness that surrounds us, we're not able to really wanting to see the light. It's the intensity of light comes from the intensity of darkness. You know, beautiful, the words of St. John, the light, the light came into the world and Darkness did not overcome it, right? Our Lord comes as a light, and um, there is nothing wrong with acknowledging what we are going through. You know, think about what we are going through at this time, right? Pandemic, this COVID-19, this darn COVID-19, <laughs> taken everything away from us, right? Can't even give a hug to our fa parents, our and 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 and. Uh, our siblings and our friends and here we are right this form of darkness form of poverty is in our life and this is why the hope the virtue of hope is so important during this time this time not just because of COVID-19 but a time of our life where we we see the inability in us to love. Inability to, to come out of our own darkness. The good news is, dear friends, is that the darkness did not overcome and will never overcome the light. Jesus our Lord is in our midst. Virtue of hope is a power that God gives to us, that we regain this ability to trust in that light. Friends, I'm not sure what you're going through at this time. You know, maybe some of you, there aren't too many difficulties. Maybe some of you who are going through some real dark time, Maybe you're struggling with your own vice. You're struggling 
with not being able to be with others or struggling the fact that you are just locked down. Maybe you're struggling with the relationships. Misunderstandings maybe took place. Miscommunication. Maybe you hurt someone. Maybe someone hurt you. Maybe you have lost your job. Maybe your health is not doing so well. Maybe you have lost somebody. Even in this darkness of our own situations and conditions, dear friends, this Advent season reminds us that the darkness is not the end of our story. The end of our story, which is the beginning of our life, is that the light has come into this world. So do not be afraid, dear friends. The Lord is with you, and He is ever to strengthen you. I want to uh, read up uh, once again just a little bit of catechism here to, to, to keep us going, right? The virtue of hope. Virtue of hope inspire men's activities and purifies them so as to order them to the kingdom of heaven. It keeps man from discouragement. It sustains him during times of abandonment. It opens up his heart in expectation of eternal beatitudes. Confirmed by hope, we are preserved from selfishness and led to the happiness that flows from the charity who is our Lord Jesus friends let not darkness whichever form it comes be the last word our last word is Emmanuel the Lord God is with us so let the Lord his light be the very thing that carries you this during this time of Advent, this time of darkness, and the light shines through our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you, and from the heart of our Heavenly Father, this is St. Barnabas.